Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com. Now when it comes to kind of the world of water cooling, especially on the custom loop side of things, I know from first hand experience how sort of daunting it can actually be. So some of the brands that are out there have actually sort of thought about this and come up with a solution to try and help kind of make the process as easy as possible. And that's where EK come along with their RGB 240 mil liquid cooling kit. So let's jump in and sort of see what it's all about because apparently everything you need is inside this one box. So as I mentioned in the introduction, when it comes to water cooling, there's kind of, it can be a little bit daunting. That's, that's mainly kind of down to the fact of not knowing, I guess, the exact components that you're going to need. And secondly, not knowing if they're compatible because you do end up getting things like radiators that are made out of aluminium. And then you have blocks that are made out of copper and having things like mixed metal can really kind of create an issue. So that's why things like this really are handy because they've kind of thought everything, you know, thought of everything for you. So I want to sort of go through, I guess, the initial um, sort of look of the box and exactly what kind of, you know, information it gives you. Because I think if you're in a store and you're actually looking at, you know, custom loop stuff, this is actually going to be quite eye catching. It's going to give you that indication that EK have kind of, you know, thought of everything for you. So straight away, it kind of shows us what I guess the whole kit's going to look like with the res pump combo, with the rad, with the tubing and with the CPU block. Obviously, if you want to add on to this at a later date, the joy of custom loop is the fact that you can actually do that. It does also tell us kind of, you know, the, the main features of this and what it comes with. So, you know, it is aimed at for people who want to overclock their system. It's aimed at um, sort of being expandable, as I did mention, and also being silent. Now, the silence comes down to the fans. They are using the Vardar fans, which are actually some of the best fans on the market in terms of sort of keeping things silent and also pushing through a lot of air pressure. Um, we have Coolstream uh, Supremacy as well. So Coolstream is the actual uh, radiator and then Supremacy is the block. They have got some other blocks out on the market such as the Classic Series and the Velocitor, but this particular one comes with the Supremacy. And then down to even say the D5. So this is actually the pump that's inside. Now they could have maybe gone with a cheaper pump if they wanted and reduce the cost, but they don't want to sort of skimp on the quality and that's what this whole kit is all about. Obviously it is RGB, so RGB makes everything better as we all, you know, definitely know, right? Um, so what they actually do is they do give you kind of a, a brief rundown of how it can look in different kind of scenarios. So if we went for a kind of a ready orange color, uh, green or even blue, and then just a bit more information on the kit. Obviously, I don't want to go through the box in complete detail because I think the best thing I can do right now is actually unbox this and show you exactly what you get inside. And then we will be building up a system as well so you can see exactly how this is all going to look. So first up, we have some tubing. Now, obviously this is soft tubing. There are hardline kits out there, but they've actually given you enough soft tubing for everything in this kit because it is only a CPU block that comes with this and not a GPU block. If you do decide to kind of expand on this at a later date, you may need more tubing. So next up, we have a set of Vardar fans. These are 120 mil fans and they are designed specifically to push through maximum amounts of air pressure. Of course, they are RGB, so when everything's all lit up, they will look absolutely amazing. Next out of the box, we have an RGB splitter cable. Because obviously this is an RGB kit, there are gonna be various connectors and your motherboard might not have as many connectors as what you physically need. So this just converts it from uh, four independent sort of RGB connectors into a single connector that will go straight into your motherboard. Next up, we have a bracket. Now this is specifically for use with the pump res combo. So if uh, there isn't support inside your particular chassis that you want to use, this just allows you to kind of give some extra support and uh, position it exactly where you want so that it fits in with the rest of your loop. Next up, we have the EK Cryo Fuel. So this is actually their coolant, which you're meant to mix together at a certain ratio. All the instructions are on the side of the bottle, but you mix it with pure H2O water and off you go. Obviously this helps with sort of biocides, pesticides, that kind of stuff, so that you don't uh, end up growing any algae inside your loop. Next up is a fan splitter cable. Because obviously the radiator does support both of the Vardar fans, you can simply plug them into this and output into a single PWM connector. Also inside the box, we have an AMD mounting bracket and AMD backplate. Now the backplate is very self-explanatory, but the mounting bracket, you have to take the Intel one that's pre-installed on your CPU block and simply install this one on there. We also have a small bag full of washers and screws for mounting some of the various hardware. 
Now this is one of the most important parts of a kit like this. It's a 24 pin, uh, basically a hot jumper. So you can plug this into an external power supply that's not part of your system and actually start your pump uh, res combo off without kind of the fear of, you know, it draining and your pump running dry. This is probably the most useful part of this whole kit. When it comes to connecting up your tube into the various components, so the radiator, CPU block and the pump res, we do get all of the fittings provided. So yes, there are enough fittings for this exact kit. Obviously, if you do want to expand at a later date, then you will have to get some more fittings along with, say, a GPU block, for instance. These are in a chrome color, but they do actually come in various different colors depending on the theme that you're going for. And they do have some subtle EK branding on the side of the locking collars. To secure all of your fittings into place, they do provide an Allen key as well. No, this isn't a Verge video, you actually do need an Allen key for this. This is especially handy when you are wanting to tighten up your fittings because sometimes depending on the system that you have going, maybe uh, the room to actually do it by hand is a little bit too tight and any pro model will actually tell you that after a while, once you've done quite a few of these, it really does kind of rip up your hands a bit. So uh, really good that they've included that in this kit. Now, obviously one of the most important parts of this whole kit is the CPU block. So we do get included a Supremacy Evo RGB Nickel Plexi water block. Now inside you do get uh, all of your fixtures and fittings for the CPU block. You get an instruction manual, which will talk you through everything that you need. And there's a few other accessories as well. This includes some Thermal Grizzly from Cryonaut. You also get the Intel uh, mounting bracket backplates as well for the various different Intel sockets. Obviously the AMD ones we mentioned earlier. You also do get uh, the ability to change the flow pattern inside the CPU block, depending on uh, which CPU socket you're going for. And then of course the CPU block itself with the pre-installed Intel bracket on there as well. On the back, obviously it does have a, uh, a sticker that you are meant to remove before use. Uh, so obviously don't forget this one. But as I mentioned, there are various different mounting brackets depending on your platform and the instruction so, uh, they actually talk you through absolutely everything. There's also a EK logo nicely situated in the corner and the block itself feels really good quality and a nice weight. Another key component of the whole system is the Coolstream 240 mm radiator. Now, EK are renowned for making some of the nicest looking radiators on the market, and this is no different. And it's the nice little touches that EK do with this. So they actually wrap it in paper, just so you know it gives some extra protection inside the cardboard box. And then there's obviously the bubble wrap, but even the screws, fixtures, and fittings uh, are situated in a nice little bag, but between the bag and the radiator is just a, a small piece of cardboard. Again, so that it doesn't dent the radiator or scratch your radiator. It's kind of these little touches that uh, make me really happy about this whole kit. So the radiator itself has your conventional uh, threaded fittings, uh, is really good quality, feels really really solid and I really like the matte kind of finish on there as well uh, and also the Coolstream sort of logo branding. One more major component inside is obviously the pump res combo with the D5 pump that we did speak about earlier. When you open up the box it does give you kind of a, a brief piece of information about not forgetting various components. It also comes with a uh, anti-vibration uh, rubber sleeve and then also the pump res itself which is nicely protected with a bag as well as some kind of packaging foam as well. Uh, inside you do get some various fixtures and fittings again uh, to go with some of the brackets that we saw earlier and the instruction manual. Taking the pump res out of its box you can see it actually looks very very nice. There's an EK sort of branded uh, piece of plexi inside and also some nice braided cables. Now it does actually come with a Molex connector which I'm a little bit sort of you know upset about. I would have preferred SATA but I'm sure they have their reasonings behind it. But that is just down to personal preference because I believe that Molex is probably the worst connector in the world and should be uh, nuked out of orbit. But like I say that's just my opinion. On the top you have a single fill port and then there are two threaded connectors on the actual side of the pump res combo itself. One for in and one for out. And now that we've got all that out of the way, it's time to see exactly how this looks inside a system in all its glory. Roll the montage.
So as you saw from kind of the few glam shots that we put there, there's lots of different possibilities that you can actually do with this. So we kind of did ask on Twitter and other sort of various social media channels as to what we should have gone with. And most people actually said we should go with blue. And we thought, you know, b and &E Technics, why not? So this is kind of the finished build. Uh, yes, there are a few things that we added extra, uh, mainly obviously the graphics card. So um, EK had actually sent us the graphics card uh, block for the RTX 2080 Ti, as well as a 120 mil uh, rad as well with uh, another fan so we added a little bit to it and we just wanted to do that really so I can show you that yes the kit gives you everything you need to kind of do a simple loop in terms of going to the CPU block but the fact that it is as, as I mentioned expandable you can kind of add a little bit to it and I think it actually turned out really really nice obviously I'm really eager to sort of see you know let me know in the comments section below is this kind of the sort of thing that you'd go for or would you go for maybe a hardline kit or would you go for something you know completely kind of custom where you get to choose your radiator you get to choose your block i mean there there are kind of various different options even if you're not looking at ek from other brands there's options but if you are looking at ek and maybe you might think this one's a bit too expensive i mean it's 400 pounds in the uk about 403 euros in europe but sadly in america it's about 450 dollars and that's before tax so once you kind of you know take tax and things like that into consideration you're probably talking about another hundred dollars on top it could be quite expensive but if you do want to go down the cheaper route ek have things like their classic series which we actually did see at ces and it just kind of you know gives you that no frills option so you know they've kind of i guess done a few things when it comes to machining and manufacturing and those types of things that they've done have actually saved on cost and that allows them to pass that cost along to you guys the consumer but I actually really, really do like this whole kit, the RGB 240 kit. Hopefully, you know, we're going to start seeing some more stuff like that where it makes it just a little bit easier for consumers to go out there and kind of make that leap. Because, you know, I guess the main kind of sticking point is electronic components and water. Is that a risk that you want to take when you don't know what you're doing? This just kind of simplifies it for you. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know exactly what to do. And I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye bye.